Hey, welcome to this Notion Second Brain intro video walkthrough. Uh, my name is Modest, and I'm here to show you what you can find, what you can expect from this Notion Second Brain template. So starting off, we have instructions. So inside instructions, we have video instructions on how to use this Notion Second Brain template. Then we have a navigation, which can be easily accessed from your sidebar over here. You can easily access any page on the system with a single click. Moving down here, we have areas of life. We have uh, if we, for example, click on health, we see that we have goals related to our health area. We can also add projects, we can add resources, we can add notes, and all these uh, resources, notes, and projects will be assigned to our area of health. And the same goes for education, for uh, home, personal, you can add any area of your life uh, over here. Okay, moving down here, we have a quick capture. So let's imagine we want quickly to capture a simple task, call John, and it's medium priority for me. I click here, it's gone, it's in our inbox. I will uh, come back to this later on, but basically you can easily quick capture, uh, capture anything on your uh, everyday basis, okay? Then we have goals, we have uh, not starting and in progress goals, we can see the progress, we can also add projects as to that goals. We can see a full view by clicking over here or we can access the goals page from our sidebar over here and then we have more filtering options uh, as you can see here, okay? Moving down here, we have a projects, we have a timeline view of our projects. We can easily scroll and see what projects we have completed, what's upcoming. We can uh, change the date or even move the project if we would like to, okay? Then moving down here, we have a gallery view of our projects. We have not started projects and progress projects. So this is no new personal website, as you can see the same here. If we click on here, we see that we have 50% uh, completed because it, uh, of the four tasks, two tasks are already completed. If I select another one, as you can see, the progress changes over here. We can also add resources and goals to that project. The same shows here. We can also easily uh, change any parameter or add any project here as well. We can also delete it if we want to. Okay, moving down here, we have a task. So remember, I uh, quickly captured the task call John. Here it is. And let's imagine I want to call John um, on Saturday. I drag, it's done. It's scheduled. It's easy as that. If we want to reschedule something, bam, it's done. If we want to complete something, click, it's done. So it's really nice and easy to use system. Then we have this upcoming view and we have today view. So basically upcoming view is all the tasks that are not completed and are upcoming. So if I deselect this, as you can see, next seven days, tomorrow, tomorrow, next seven days. Uh, and basically this is based on the GTD method. So this all today inbox upcoming and overview and stuff like that. And you can also additionally see more filters, as I mentioned before, in your task view over here. Okay, moving down here, we have resources. Uh, we have our favorite resources. We can click on that. We have uh, really a lot of options uh, to, 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 to select. Then we can assign that resource to a project, uh, assign a task. We can have this nice organization going. Then we have a notes, we have pin notes, drafts, and stuff like that. We can also additionally see more filtering options on a database page. Then we have this quick uh, weekly review. Uh, so this is basically to help you plan your week, uh, declutter your workspace, and just, you know, just basically get more organized and more productive, okay? So this is a quick uh, dashboard view, and I just quickly want to show you few pages around so you could get, get a better sense of what's inside this uh, the system. So if I click on navigation, you can see uh, all the tasks, uh, I mean, all the pages of the system are here. And if I click on inbox, as you can see, this is all my quick capturing uh, information goes here. Resources, projects, tasks, notes, and we have a goals, we have areas, we have review, we have projects, we have tasks, resource, resources here with the tags, notes, archive, habits, journal, and books. So this is a Notion Second Brain. I really hope you enjoy this video and this short uh, introduction to this Notion Second Brain. So yeah, I really hope you liked it and thank you for watching.